Welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 4. And before we actually get into anything properly, uh, Roman has just given us a phone call. The moment I met Mallory, I knew that she was the only woman for me. Apart from those other ones you screw, right? No, certainly not. They were just distractions from my one true love. I proposed to Mallory, Nico. She said she would marry me. Now all we need is to find you a wife, and we can all settle down happily ever after. I'm working on it, cousin. There's this girl I like. She's called Kate McCreary. I'll invite her to the wedding! You don't even know her, Roman, so please, try not to embarrass me. Congratulations on the engagement. Thank you, cousin! So, anyway, we're gonna... We're gonna help Bernie Crane because we got this message. I'm having a panic attack. Meet me at Pier 45. Love, Bernie. Boys ahoy. Also, if you hear anything, it's the air conditioning right behind me. Bernie, what's wrong? Nothing, sweetie. Oh my god. You're the lucky one. What? You could slice cheese on those puppies. I must be the only slob without cheekbones. I'm thinking of getting implants. But you sounded hysterical. Oh, sometimes I can't bear to be alone. I'm so glad you've come back into my life, even if you did try to kill me. I'm so excited! What are we doing here? You're going to have fun! Fun? Yes! It's a four-letter word, I know, but we can still try. Look, more people want me dead than alive. I'm working for the Mafia. The police and the government agency are both on my case. I kill and steal to scrape together a living so that my cousin can fritter it away online and pay off debts. And all the while, people are trying to kill us. What is fun? Honey, you are stressed. Oh. Goodbye, Florian. No, 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 you don't, Nico. I need you. I need you to come on this boat trip with me. I need to talk to someone who truly knows me. When I knew you, you were training to be a shepherd. And you wanted to be a professional wrestler. <laughs> Actually, maybe it does all make sense. You understand me. Both of me. Come on, Bryce accidentally left the keys on purpose somewhere I could steal them. You drive, I'll work on my tan. My midriff is really pale. All right. Let's have fun. Ah! So I do not... that beach, Nico. Take Bernie to the coast off Firefly Island. Yeah, I do not remember this mission My life at all. Is in turmoil. Bryce is pulling his hair out over this blackmail thing. His wife is getting on his back about yours truly. I think she suspects. It's a nightmare. I don't know how else I can help you. Look how long it took me to find you. I know, sweetie. Let's forget about him and have some F U N. Together, you is for you and me, and this for anywhere and any time at all down here in Liberty City. <laughs> I had to do that. I just had to. F is for fire that burns down the whole town. U is for uranium bombs, and is for no survivors. That's not what fun is all about. Perfect, sweetie. Let's stop. <laughs> oh, SpongeBob. Ahoy, sailor! Cute guys off the starport brow! Mm. Scratch that! Not so cute! Rojni Rusi! Let me see. They don't look like they're on the pleasure cruise. That to us. Take out Dr Dimitri's men. Alright, so. Bryce's wife is going to freak out about his boat. His 
was meant to be our fun day, Nico. Why does everything that's meant to be fun have to be so miserable? I don't know. We just got to get these guys or they'll just come back. I told you that there was no time to wait. People are after me, and I had to stay alert. You, Bert, are in this too. You have to keep your eyes open. They're wide open, sweetie. I'm focused. 100%. memory of this game as of this point onwards is a bit fuzzy apart from a few missions. I don't know who's screaming in the background. I didn't do anything. No. I haven't gotten hit, surprisingly. Dimitri's men have reached land. They're taking to the oh. high ground, sweetie! Down there. Got him. See you in a bit, Nico. And let's give me that carbine. Assault rifles OP. dare die on me, or don't you dare live on me. Alright, got out. him. Go back to Bernie. Yes, indeed. Our noble hero returns from battle. They're not a problem anymore. Nico, you are my knight in shining armor. Thank you. I'm sorry our fun day wasn't so very much fun. See you soon. See you. I think we might finally be done with uh, Bernie Crane. 
So, since we're done with him, possibly, let's go talk to Philby. We'll see if we get a message here. Truck hustle. Uh -huh. Oh, was, oh that no. Thing? Our friend did what? 37 and 8? No. <laughs> what about them swings? How's Molly? The kids? You. Okay. Yeah, I gotta go. Let's out. Hey, Ray. So, uh, who's the pal? Phil, you remember Nico? He's a good friend of mine. Can we talk? Sure we can talk, as long as we don't talk too much. Interesting times, you know what I mean? Did you hear about our friend, the guy with the thing? Yeah, you mean Harry the... guy with the hat? No, the guy with the, you know, the... but the beep for the boo. Yeah, the guy with the... and the... Yeah, that guy. Yeah. Hey. Heard. So Hang be cool, right? Sec. Listen, I need to speak to you alone. Yeah, Phil, see, that's the thing. I kind of know what you're going to ask, and I can't. What do you mean you can't? I can't do it, Phil. I got a lot of interest right now. Business is really taking off. And I don't want any distractions. Well, as you could see, I got my own issues here. Look, Nico is good. He'll do what you need. And you say he's a friend of yours? Sure. Good to meet you. Yeah. Come here. The Triads have this big chunk of brown they're desperate to get rid of. Talking about it all over town. Wanting to offload it at any price. They think it's cursed or something. Prove it is. Take it from them. It's loaded into a truck going to Franklin Street and West Dyke. Get a hold of it and give me a call. Sure. But Mr. Bell, it's going to cost you. You got it. No problem. Great. Say, nice stereo you got there, Phil. Thanks. Yeah, so Philly, you ever hear from your ex-wife? What kind of question is that? Just ask it. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Every time. Uh, this might not be the one I'm thinking of, thank God. If it is, then I'm not gonna be particularly pleased, because I remember this I'll one be being a nightmare. Alright, go to the alley. Will do. No. As much as I'd love to listen to the music, I can't. It is well established that we cannot do that. Well, let's get moving. Turn left. In ten yards. Turn right. Turn right. Let's equip the carbine. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if, okay, I don't know if that might be too powerful, though. There's the truck I'm supposed to steal. Right up to the, right up to the bay. Oh no, not quite up to the bay, but close enough. Steal the truck. 
Okay. Aha! Gotcha. Gotcha. I have the. At least I have my back to the wall. Haha, gotcha. Oh, Jesus. The sniper rifle's bad. The sniper rifle's real bad from a distance if you're. Shoot from cover. Face from behind a wall. Like this. Well, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. No, you don't, buddy. No. Hey, excuse me, but what the hell? I shot that guy in the head. How the hell is he still moving? I call bullshit. I shot that guy in the head with a sniper rifle. You are not escaping with that smack! You guys did see that, right? I did clearly hit him in the head with that, with a sniper rifle. Well, let's, uh... Let's see if I can actually grab on to the... Okay! There we go. Uh, make your way to the front of the truck. Tap A to repeatedly pull yourself. Or tap A repeatedly to pull yourself onto the truck's roof. I have a feeling this would not work oh, too well. I don't even like fucking heroin. I don't think this would work too well in real life. Oh. Ah, dumb fucker. Ah. Yeah. This better be good smack. This heroin is cursed. You don't fucking want it. There we go. <laughs> Still, man, I got that thing you were after. What do you want me to do with it? It's a wedding present from my nephew, Frank. Take it out to the big house for a fever head You know the one I need. He'll be waiting here. Drive the truck to the old mansion. All right, off-road, a little bit of off-road driving in a big-ass truck. Well, luckily the thing is just right here. And that's that, I think. Hey, you Frankie. Your uncle asked me to give you this wedding present. You're a lucky guy. I don't know about that. I gotta sit on this stuff until Phil gets over his paranoia and we could ship it. 
Meantime, I gotta pack it into some cars that go faster than this thing. Sounds like a fun honeymoon. Later on. What? Okay, there's a new icon on the screen. I think. Ah, assassin missions. Well, I'll be doing that next time. Right now, we will do the only thing there is to do. Uh, I, no. Your nephew's got his wedding present. Nicely done. He's a good kid. He deserves something special. Hopefully, he'll look after him. Nico, you looking for more work? I'm always looking to earn a bit of extra cash. Great. I know a guy who needs a man like you. Only operates on an outside line, though. Go to the payphone on the corner of Vitulo and Hardpack. All right, so yeah, couldn't turn off the music. Now I can. Yeah, we'll definitely be handling the assassin missions. Actually, we might not be doing it next segment, but because I want to get the RPG. Once I get access to the RPG, then. And I will start the assassin oh, missions because some of those can be completed in like literally 10 seconds when you have the RPG. Oh, hello, Phil. What do you want? Nico, I told Jimmy T about it. He wants to meet you. Has he got work? Yeah. He's got stuff that needs doing. Head over to his house off of Beaverhead in Westside. All right. Do I have an option? I do have an option, and where? Yeah, okay, that's just. Okay, that's just the house I was just at. Need to wear s smart clothes and smart shoes in order to meet Jimmy. Well, you know what? Screw him, man. Oh. Well, I'm not doing that right now, then. Instead, we'll meet with Derek McCreary. And I don't remember if we actually have to do anything for Derek the first time we... Hey, hey. Oh, hello. Hold on. There's a uh, side mission we can do. Let's actually do that. Since I'm actually recording... Since I'm actually recording this... Since I'm actually recording while this is going on. Hey! Hey. Hey, what are you doing out here so late? What's it to you? Nothing. Just trying to make conversation. Just trying to keep the loneliness at bay. You know. Whatever you say. Hey, uh, you're not from around here, are you? No. I'm from Florida. <laughs> you're funny. You're a real yeah. joker. I knew a joker once. Lovely guy. Came to a rather unfortunate end, though. But I suppose we all do. <laughs> In the end. Okay. Wait, 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 mister. Um, do you ever wonder, do you ever wonder if animals, they masturbate? Okay, listen, friend, you're really creeping me out. No, it's a silly question. I know, silly question. It's just I was wondering because maybe that's what makes us different uh, from the animals. I mean, masturbating because it turns out we Fuck. don't have souls. Animals use tools and all that kind of thing, so maybe it's the masturbating. Maybe that's God's real gift to us. Okay, I'd really like to get back to planet Earth, so maybe I'll see No, you wait, later. wait a minute, mister. I'm sorry. I'm strange. I'm a weird guy. I know. <laughs> hey, hey, do you have a car? Can you get one? Why? Because I have this rather heavy bag, and I really need a lift. I can pay you. Okay, okay. Thanks. I'm Eddie, by the way. Eddie Lowe. Yes, fine. Come on. 
Okay, this guy is really fucking weird. Get a vehicle. Let's do that then. Well. Yeah. I'm stealing your car. I'm stealing your car. Where is this one? Various classics that have been used in car and tampon collision. Get out of the way. Holy shit. Come on. Move! Assholes. Get Eddie to the docks. We'll do that. And lose my wanted level. You got the shit to catch. You're going somewhere? You're not going anywhere. My friends are, though. They're heading off. <laughs> That's a funny joke. Joke? Joke? Eddie never jokes. Eddie needs to be taken seriously. They laughed at him once. But you can't laugh without a tongue. You can't point if you haven't got fingers, can you? That's what Daddy told me. Late at night, in my room. Easy there, buddy. We're friends, aren't we? We can talk to one another, share things. Spill your guts. Ew. I don't like doing that. It's smelly. I'm kidding. Isn't the world strange? looks at you, but it turns out she doesn't love you at all. It turns... Alright, well... Or, you're kind of a strange guy, Eddie. Have you ever considered psychotherapy? You've got issues. My only issue is I don't accept the world's bullshit. Here for me, friend. Special friend. I'm just dropping the kids off. Glad I got rid of that. Wouldn't want to get caught with it. People can be so narrow-minded. Can you take me to Westminster? I like Westminster. Lots of nice boys. It's one of my money. Ah. Uh. Never get you off, friend. hear accents when people scream. I can tell what borough people are from just by hearing them scream. I've heard enough Alderney accents tonight. Oh God! Oh God! I want to hear some nice rounded Algonquin voices. Please stop! Please stop it! Do you see that? You're making me a little uncomfortable, Eddie. I hope you're joking. I'm sorry, pal. Of course, I'm joking. Do you think that I'm weird? Please. I'm just a no-bullshit kind of guy. So, 
So, what's your name? And what do you do? Huh? Those are normal questions. Nico Bellic. And I do what I can to survive. To get by. That's cryptic. Things must be difficult for you. Do you hurt other people, Nico? If they get in my way. I wouldn't want to get in your way, Nico. I wouldn't want you to get in mine either. Oh, uh, we're good friends now, uh huh? Special friends. Yeah. Here we are. Eddie's off to hunt for a nice boy. Thank you, Nico. Thank you, friend. I'll see you later, man eater. Uh, yeah. I think I know what this dude's problem is, and I'm not even gonna say what it is. I think it's a little obvious. Ugh, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Well, now let's see if we can. Well, let's talk to Derek. This is it. Thanks a lot. And I do remember there being a flying rat, like, right here. Like, right on the park bench that he's laying on. Smack down. Hey! 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 Your brother said you needed a hand. Looks like you'll need more than that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Hey! Ah! Wake up, you fucking junkie! I'm awake. I was just wishing you'd leave. Hey. Hey. Sit down. That's pretty good gear. I'm pretty high. Good for you. Okay. Don't get sanctimonious on me. Okay. Why do you do this to yourself? Because it feels nice. <clears throat> because it feels better to be high than not. Does it stop you thinking? <coughs> it stops you caring. Which is even better. <coughs> so. What do you care about? I care about getting people back who claimed I was a grass. <laughs> People who use that to steal shit off me. Huh. Maybe that's what your brother was talking about. When they said you needed help taking care of all the business. Sure. I mean, I ain't a saint. I ain't a man of principle. I, I messed up. But I tried. I made a mistake. But I admitted it. We all make mistakes. Exactly! And this guy is STILL threatening to kill me and my family! What's his name? Uh, uh. Coming into my room, I'm Bucky invited. Sligo. Bucky Sligo. I heard he was living in Alderney. Can you get access to police computer? Sure. Fine, fuck. Shut him. Pals? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Pals. Oh. All right, find a cop car. Before we do that, let's shoot this bird. <laughs> Boom! 196 flying rats. Come on. Get Thank out. you. Thank you for the car. Oh wait. I need to find a police car. Um. Oh. Hello, there's actually a cop car when I need one. Amazing! Possibly the first time in this whole LP. Okay. Glad he didn't, uh. 
I'm glad he didn't uh, see that. Anyway, search police record, search by name. Uh, B U C K Y Sligo. Go get him, boys. They fucking deserve it. Hey, Derek. Apparently, your guy hangs out at the burger shop in the Alderney. Go check it out. Make sure it's worth it. I want them all to pay. What if he's alone? Keep the police call. He'll see you and think you're taking him down. First thing Bucky will do is run back to his crew. Fucking coward! Everyone go down. Did him take a ball alone? Told me out, didn't he? I guess he did, man. I'll tell you when it's done. So. Only in this country yeah, they let life drive. Fuck right. Probably just have the siren on. So hopefully people yield for me. I don't know actually how well people do that in this game. Uh, you know what? Fuck going the legal route. We're going through the alleys. This is going to be faster. What, what the hell? Uh, I think that dude just stopped the car with his body. Get out of the car or just wait? Alright, we just wait. Alright, so follow Bucky to his crew. Shit, Bucky. It's the cops. Go to your buddies. Excels at. Yeah, this fucker's dead now. Seriously, Carbine, don't fail me now. I saw you.
Lose my wanted bubble. Two stars. Get out of the way. Get in the cop car. Let's go, let's go, let's go. If I die, I have to redo this. Let's get the hell out of here. We can't. And when I'm in this car, I can't go to the pay and spray. They will not. They will not paint that or whatever that message is. God damn it, of course I had to spin out right there. Come on, get out of the way. Come on, move! I'm almost there. Okay, I'm done. Okay. So now that that's done, I will save the game. And I'll see if I can buy buy any RPG rounds, or just an RPG in general. And if I can, I will start the assassin side quest. Nico, Nico, my boy. Good to hear your voice. Speak to you, I mean. There, you okay? Bucky and this boys are dead. What? Sorry, not off for a second. Bucky dead? That's good. Yeah, alive, but dead. It's all the same though, is it? Living, dead, good, dead, right, wrong, chalk, shit. I'll speak to you when you're back among the living. Alright, so... On this note, I will end the segment here, and I will see you guys next time. Farewell.